Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel Shanahan here from Legs, Foot, and Ankle Associates. The topic of this video is a pathology called tarsal tunnel syndrome. A lot of people have heard of carpal tunnel syndrome. Most of us know that issue regarding a problem with the wrist, where people get numbness into their hand and trouble with their fingers and things like that. Well, there's a similar area of the foot and ankle called the tarsal tunnel, which is on the inside of your ankle. And it's where a nerve compression can occur to cause problems with the foot and ankle area. Tarsal tunnel syndrome is a pathology that can be very challenging for the patient to deal with because it can lead to numbness, burning, tingling, and even difficulty walking with muscular control, function of the toes, and things like that. Tarsal tunnel is a very treatable problem, but you need to come have it assessed properly by the doctors here at Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates. Tarsal tunnel can cause difficulty wearing shoe gear and participating in your activities, so you don't want to try and treat it yourself or go to Dr. Google, my number one enemy these days, and try and solve your problem. With tarsal tunnel, there's actually a lot of different causes. The most common cause is due to biomechanics. In other words, the way your foot and ankle work. It's the way that the bone, tendons, ligaments, joints, muscles all work together, and they can cause a compression of a particular nerve on the inside of your ankle. The fancy name of this nerve is the posterior tibial nerve. And if this nerve gets compressed due to your biomechanics, it can lead to the problem called tarsal tunnel syndrome. The compression of that nerve on the inside of the ankle is what will lead to the numbness, the tingling, the pain, or the problems with the muscles and control of your foot. When it comes to your biomechanics, probably the most common foot type is your foot that has a lower arch or a lot of what we call hyperpronation. Hyperpronation is a fancy term for a lot of looseness to the foot that leads to the arch trying to collapse. A collapsed arch or a flat foot is kind of a sticky wicket when it comes to the use of that term. Because a lot of people say they have flat feet when they really don't have flat feet. So it's really up to us, the doctors here at Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates, to determine and diagnose if you really have a flat foot or what your biomechanics are. But when you have a foot that has hyperpronation or bad biomechanics with a lot of stress and strain on that tarsal tunnel area, again, the area on the inside of your ankle, that can put a lot of traction or stress and pressure on the nerve, thus leading to the compression of that nerve and the subsequent systems, symptoms sorry, related to tarsal tunnel syndrome. But there are other things that can happen. There's a an issue called a ganglion cyst. You can form a ganglion cyst in the tarsal tunnel area and cause compression of the nerve. Not a real frequent problem, but it does happen. In fact, any space occupying lesion or mass in that area can lead to a tarsal tunnel syndrome type of issue. Even varicose veins, if you have engorged veins in that area on the inside of the ankle, those can fill up with blood and cause pressure on the nerve. So you can see there's a lot of things that go on with the anatomy of that area, which is very complicated. The inside of the ankle is kind of like the inside of your wrist, where tarsal tunnel or carpal tunnel occur. So there's a lot that can go on in that area. So hopefully that gives you an idea of who's prone to develop tarsal tunnel and what can lead to it. Now, of course, what do we do with it? How can it be managed? Well, fortunately, there are a lot of ways to manage tarsal tunnel. Probably the number one thing, of course, is better biomechanics. And that starts with better shoes, orthotics, or bracing to control those biomechanics. However, it's up to us, the doctors here at Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates, to make sure that you don't have a space-occupying mass of some sort, like the things I referred to earlier, the ganglion cysts engorged blood vessels or anything related to that. So we have diagnostic ultrasound here at the office where we can look in that area to check for things like that. Sometimes we will even send a patient for an MRI to look at the anatomy of that area to make sure there's nothing that we're missing. Okay, so the 
Ways to treat it, of course, better biomechanics, as I already alluded to, better shoes, inserts, and control of that area. Sometimes a therapeutic nerve injection can be helpful to settle things down. Sometimes oral medication for a brief period of time. But as most of my patients know, I'm not a big fan of putting people on drugs or even injecting drugs. Our MLS laser can be fantastic to help this. The MLS laser has shown itself to be very effective for managing nerve pathologies, to reduce the pain around them, uh, pain and inflammation around the nerve, especially if it's due to the mechanics and the injury to the nerve. Now, obviously, laser is not going to fix the presence of a mass in that area, so that's why we have to determine that and diagnose that. And then, on the very rare occasion, we can do tarsal tunnel decompression surgery. That's when we go into the area and surgically open it up to look at the anatomy to see if there's a mass that needs to be removed or some sort of entanglement by a blood vessel or other uh, part of the anatomy that's causing this problem. There's even compression that can occur from a muscle that the nerve travels through in that region. It's not a very complicated surgery, but it's a surgery where we, have, where we have to open up the inside of the ankle to get to that anatomy, and no one wants to have surgery if they don't have to. So we save that as a last resort. So hopefully this video gives you some good information as to what tarsal tunnel is. Like I said, it's similar to carpal tunnel syndrome. It's the compression of a nerve due to many different reasons that can cause numbness, tingling, pain, and dysfunction of your foot. So if you think you're suffering from tarsal tunnel syndrome, don't go to Dr. Google. That's the number one mistake you can make. Come see us at Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates. My associate, Dr. Petronella, and I are very skilled at helping you diagnose this and, of course, set up a proper treatment plan to help you manage it and solve your problem. Here's to your good foot health, Dr. Daniel Shanahan, Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates. Have a great day.